everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie Angels Tarot and this is your weekend cards. So uh, I'm using the Wildwood Tarot by uh, uh, Mark Ryan and I think they're amazing. Have a look at the review, then you'll get to know the cards yourself um, because we've got different meanings. We've got arrows, that's the swords. Then we have the vessels, that is the cups, and we have bows, that is the wands, and then we have stones, and the stones are pentacles. Wow, and it's really, really beautiful. It's pretty. Okay, well, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Terror, my darlings, and you can see my website or find my website underneath Charlie's Angels Terror. Dot com. So if you would like an extended reading, then please send me, go to the website and send me an email and have a scout around and see uh, what the <clears throat> what is on the website. There's different types of readings and really great offers. So if you're new, please um, subscribe. Um, today I've heard another reader which I've, I have also followed for five, six years. She's on, on YouTube already so long, like Brenda Tarot Readings. Um, but this is North East Tarot, and she's also a lovely lady, very good reader, very in, pleasant to listen to as well. Um, and she also said, please, uh, if you would like to uh, find me back again, uh, please subscribe and if you want to be notified then please hit the bell. The, a lot of readers are following up because we've got, uh, we are supporting each other. These are beautiful readers. Uh, they have also heard that and uh, from, their re, uh, from their viewers that they are getting thrown out of the system. So please make sure that you subscribe my darlings so that you can find me back and that you will not be thrown out and make sure that you come back from time to time because apparently she said uh, people that have not been so active on YouTube they are getting thrown off. I've, one of, I've got two, a private YouTube channel that I watch also other readers on and uh, it's not that I want to um, uh, check them out or anything uh, because that's not the way I work. Um, I do approach them privately as well, and authors of the cards, and I love that. I really like working together and for each other and with each other. So if anybody would like to collaborate, then uh, please go to the website or send me an email and let's collaborate. Um, you know, together we stand strong and that's what my cyber family knows, the cyber angels and cyber babes as we call them. They're my angels, my viewers. Um, that's what we know that we, together we stand strong. And solidarity uh, means power and love. And that's what the world needs more of. So if you are a reader, or um, uh, please on YouTube or without YouTube or Facebook, then please, if you want to collaborate, uh, send me an email to Charlie's Angel Tarot um, at gmail.com. Okay, now I'm going to start for Capricorn, and this is your second card. So I'll start with the other card, with the other pile, because I've split them in half. And you've got the two of bows. That's the two of ones. You are making plans for the few, sorry, the ten, the ten of ones. So that here it says responsibility. Yes, you've got a heavy load to bear, but you're nearly there. At the end, only a few steps before you reach the summit. So don't give up. Don't give up. Your load will be lightened. Only a few steps. Uh, so don't give up. There is a new beginning coming. And then you've got 20. The Great Bear. The Great Bear is judgment. It's judgment. You'll be uh, confirming this card. Is the Great Bear the judgment? A new beginning. This is the rising dead. Usually it's Gabriel that's blowing life into the rising dead. And here you are, you've got the uh, 
the great bear. In the great bear, there is a star. That's a predominant star. That's the north star. That's called the great bear. So there you go. You're getting, uh, getting a new beginning. Don't give up hope. Now we're going to Aquarius. And we've got the queen of vessels. That's the salmon. There's the queen of cups. She represents love, passion, beauty, um, mystery, no, uh, not mystery, uh, sensuality and sexuality and nurturing. So you might be meeting a Cancer Aquarius or a Scorpio or a Pisces. Uh, if you are not, uh, you might be nurturing and loving yourself a little bit more this weekend. You might just want to nurture yourself by taking time out and read a book or watch films. And then you've got the Six of Arrows. And the Six of Arrows is the Six of Swords. You're moving away from rough waters and going to smoother waters. You might be moving home. You might be going on holiday. You might even be crossing the river. <laughs> Whether it's the sea or literally a mere or lake, a river. Okay, Aquarius, go for it, my darling. And now we're going on to Pisces, and we have the Fife, the Ancestor, and that is, the, or the, rather the Stag, I think. The Ancestor, that's the High Priest. That's the High Priest. So that's also known as the Hierophant. You might be seeking advice from a professional or from a mature man, a father figure, an uncle, somebody that's the head of the tribe, or it could be um, a head of uh, an institution like the church, or a doctor or a hospital like a surgeon. It could be a teacher, the headmaster of the school. It could be a head of an institution. Sorry, I'm editing another video. So like I said, you might be ask, seeking advice from a father figure or a professional. This could also be a head of a municipality or um, that is an institution, a government institution. Okay, now Pisces, if you've chosen the second card, I usually choose all uh, both my cards. Um, um, and then you get a better picture instead of just one card. Uh -huh. Perhaps I'm greedy. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. It's slippery. Of course, then you, and um, I'm sorry about my nails because uh, they are splitting drastically. And um, so I'll try not to show them too much. And you've got the guardian, and the guardian is the devil. And usually you would think if you see a skeleton, it is death. No, it is. The devil, somebody around you might have a bad habit or might have an addiction. That's more or less the same meaning, but I think a bad habit is uh, broader. Um, it could be somebody that's manipulating you or um, that is um, codependent on you. So don't let anybody manip manipulate you. You might have bad habits. You might be codependent on somebody. Break free. Break free. Stand on your own two feet. You can do it. And if you can't, then seek help. Um, and if somebody else has a, 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 a bad addiction or a bad habit, then uh, I'll tell them to seek help. Okay. That is perhaps the advice they need or you on what to do with a person that is manipulating you or that you feel um, beholden to. That is also a bad habit. How to break free. Okay, now we're going to Aries. Aries, you have the nine of stones. That's the nine of pentacles. Isn't that a beautiful card? That is Stonehenge, my darling, in England. That's in the background. So you are going to a better and a luxurious um, uh, phase. It's an end of phase because it's a nine and there will be a better dawn breaking. 
Look at that beautiful sun that is rising. And this is in this deck tradition. Tradition. You might be doing something, um, an, an old tradition, bringing it back into a new phase, updating it. Two of bows, and that is the two of wands, decisions. Yes, in this deck it's called decisions, but you're making plans for the future. So I suppose you have to make these decisions and choices in order to let them come to fruition and put them into action. Okay, Aries, now we're going to Taurus. And Taurus, you have the Eight of Bows, Spark of Life. The Eight of Bows, that's the Eight, uh, eight sorry, Ace of Bows. The Ace of Bows is the Ace of Wands. And that means you're getting a new beginning. New beginning. Could be a new job. Could be a new... Uh, person in your love life. That could be a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. And now Taurus, you've got the Eight of Arrows, the Eight of Swords. You might be too much in your head. You can't make decisions or choices. Free yourself and step through those um, uh, arrows and Make a decision. Make a decision. You can see. Usually it's depicted with a woman that's tied up or feel tied up and with a blindfold on and um, with her hands tied up behind her back. Loosen yourself. There's no knots holding you back. Okay? So get out of your head and stop feeling tied up because you're not Taurus. You've got this beautiful new beginning. Coming in. Now, we're going on to Gemini. And Gemini, you have your card. You have your card. You've got the forest lovers. Lovers. You might be meeting your soulmates. You might be meeting another Gemini. This card stands for Gemini, but don't exclude other air signs. Air is prominent here, okay, forming partnerships in love or business. Then you've got the Queen of Bows, the hair, and the Queen of Bows is a fire sign, so you might be meeting an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. You might be forming partnerships with one of these people. Okie dokie, she is a, a strong independent person she knows what she wants and she goes for it she comes into action okay and be careful um, Gemini be, that you don't burn because uh, you're an air sign air and fire can uh, not last very long because air spurs on the fire and the fire spurs on the air the air gives the fire to blow up Okay, so make sure that you know your boundaries and you know their boundaries and what they want and that you agree with it. Um, if you need to, learn how to make compromises and the, tell the fire sign that you uh, do understand and, and it's clear to you, but also they, she has to comp learn to compromise. Okay, my darlings, now we're going on to cancer. Cancer, you've got the Ten of Stones, so you're getting big time money, you might be getting an inheritance, the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you might be getting a promotion, you might have a windfall, uh, you might get holiday money, tax return, you name it, um, but there's also an end of a phase, the, you're going into a better and long lasting, a long lasting better phase because of the things that can come to you, promotions, jobs, okay, a tennis completion, one is a new beginning. And you've also got the Ten of Swords, You're, um, here it's, this is a home, perhaps you might be getting a home, okay, you might be getting instructed, again, an ending, a new beginning, how to get a new home, you might be instructed, okie dokie. This is for you, Cancer. Um, you might get instructed on how to build the home or make it 
beautify it with all this money and new ideas. This attempt isn't finished and a new beginning. You might have new ideas and you want to put them into practice and you'll be getting help from somebody. Awesome. Now we're going on to Leo. Leo, you've got the seven of vessels, the seven of cups. Morning, morning. Well, that is what it means in this deck. But usually the seven of cups is dreams and goals. Um, so what you, uh, um, the seven of goals, I always, the seven of cups, dreams and goals. If you have um, dreams or ideas, make them realistic. Make a priority list. Make a list of pros and cons and then take the, the, the least heavy or hardest uh, wish or goal to make it come true. Because you'll have to put it into action by start manifesting it and not just ideas and dreams. But to manifest it, to make get into action and to put it in action, let the universe know what you want and it soon will be yours. Okie dokie. Now we're going on to your second card, and you've got the Ace of Vessels, so that could be a new love, a new love, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, a new passion, a new job, a new love, and you might start nurturing something that might be a job in health and care. All right, and now we're going on to Virgo. Virgo, you have the Knight of Arrows. You have the Knight of Arrows, the King of Swords. And it says um, Kingfisher. Okay. Um, the Kingfisher represents the King of Swords. And that means that you might ask um, somebody's advice. That is like a lawyer or a judge. Um, you could even get that could be your new tutor. Um, you might have something to do with the law. Uh, you might seek advice from, like I said, a lawyer. Um, perhaps you might seek advice uh, for a new study. Or you might be a new presenter, uh, the talker, because the king of swords, mean he stands for communication and wisdom. So you might, you might give um, instruction or knowledge to somebody or talk to somebody and tell them how to talk or show them how to teach them how to talk. Or you might be starting to write a new book or a blog or a vlog. Amazing. Okie dokie. Now, or you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarian Virgo. Virgo, And you've got the Four of Bows, so that's the Four of Wands. You might even be getting married uh, with um, uh, a person of the bow, Bows, because it says celebrations. Usually in the traditional tarot, it is a wedding, that you are going to a wedding or that you're going to get married yourself. Um, and something is built on proper foundations. This could be friendships. This could be a new job. Celebrations that you have a new job. It could be a new house. The four corners of the ones that the four ones forming the, the four corners of a house. So that you might be renting a new house or buying a new house. Okay, Virgo, now we're good luck. And and I love it if it's true. And now we're going on to Libra. You have the Ace of Arrows. So you've got the Ace of Swords. Amazing. This could be a, a new job in judicial uh, situation, in teaching, because the swords stand for cutting and justice, wisdom and communication. So you might get a job in communication, radio, television, um, teacher, instructing somebody, get passing on your wisdom. Uh, also, in the legal side of things, justice, municipalities, because the swords stand for justice. But look at this 
we can't all be lawyers and judges. There would be too many of us. But the swords cut, so you might be a butcher, you might be a chippy, you might be um, a hairdresser, you might be a uh, what else cuts? Um, somebody that cuts things like a, 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 a tile, a person that tiles bathrooms, kitchens or floors, things like that. If you do anything with cutting, that could be your vocation. Okay, well, that is wonderful. You have to be really, really sharp. Boom, that's the word you might have. Something will become clear to you. The Ace of Swords is also justice, victory. So if you had competition, you'll have victory. You'll be the winner. Then you've got the King of Bows. So that is the King of Fire, <coughs> Libra. And uh, you might meet a King of Fire. Um, that is a Sagittarian, Arian, or a... Um, um, Sorry, no, not Arian. Yes, Arian, uh, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. You might be meeting one of them. You might start forming a new partnership with them. They fall in love or in work, start a new business. Okay, great stuff. Now we're going to Scorpio. Scorpio, you've got the Knight of Vessels, the Knight of Cups. You could be getting news or an offer. This could be of love or, of love or passion um, or a new job, something that you're passionate about, or perhaps a job in the healthcare. And you've got the nine of arrows, so that's the nine of swords. So um, that could be also definitely an end of a face, but perhaps somebody has been um, untrue to you or tell, told you fibs. And this could be worrying you. Somebody might have been slithery. Okay. Somebody might have been slithery. I don't know. That's just coming to my mind. It is the king of thistles. So perhaps... I'm doing this wrong again. Correction. It's not the king of thistles. It's the knight of thistles. So uh, that could be a young person could be um, also a water person that has been nasty to you or talking behind your back or doing something that you're worried about. If you're a parent, it could be a teenager that you're worried about and that's giving you sleepless night, nights because you've got the nine of swords. Um, so put your stress or put your worries next to your clothes at night and leave it to the angels and the universe and they will lighten your load so that you can sleep well and that you can rejuvenate whilst you're taking the sleep or rest. Now we're going on to the uh, Sagittarians, last but not least, and I love you. You've got the Eight of Stones, the Eight of Pentacles. Your hard work is going to be paid off because you've got recognition. You might start a new study. Wow, things are going to get better. They've been getting better since December. And that is awesome. You've got the Queen of Stones as well. So you've got the Eight and you're going to be, you're the Queen of Stones. The Queen of Stones is the Queen of Pentacles. So you have invested in something, your time, your money, your ideas, and because the, the ground is through earth, fertile, um, she stands for fertility. So you've invested in something and you're being recognized now. So you're going to get what you wished for and that you invested in. You might find out you're pregnant. If you don't want to be pregnant, then take precautions because the ground is fertile. This moment is fertile. I think we are the full moon in Leo. I'm not quite sure, but I heard somebody say say that. So um, check it out when the full moon is um, and what kind of moon it is. Um, I'm not an astrologer, but I do diddle and daddle in astrology, but more in the sense of characteristics and uh, what a Leo is or what an, uh, a Pisces is, the characteristics of things like that. It does interest me. But I don't read charts. You can get free charts on the internet. 
I'll put the link below. And you've got the queen, like I said, of um, stones. So um, she's also she's pen, a queen of pentacles. So she also stands for fertility, birth. That could be of a child or a project or something that you want. Could be a new home, a new job. Um, something will, is growing and has to bloom and then it will come to fruition and you can uh, pluck the harvest. Wow, brilliant. So you might be harvesting something over the weekend. Good news, Sagittarius. Good luck with that. And I wish you all the luck and happiness. So you could also be meeting a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus. Okay, I hope everybody uh, has liked these cards and the cards for the weekend. Have a beautiful weekend and be blessed and I'll see you tonight. Please share and like and give us the thumbs up. Take care, be blessed. Together we stand strong.